Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Bar-L. Uh, so today, I'm going to show you guys, a lot of you guys requested that I show you how to split uh, 3D, uh, printed, uh, 3D printing model, uh, you know, a mesh, let's say, that you download from somewhere or that you do it yourself, but you got big pieces or have someone design it for you. So I went ahead uh, to Thingiverse. Uh, downloaded some um, some files over here and I wanted to uh, and you know I'm gonna also show you with uh, uh, models and stuff like that uh, that I'm gonna cut that I'm gonna cut right now okay so first we're gonna go into the noob cybot one okay we're gonna get into that and this is how the noob cybot mask looks right now on, on simplify 3d now I have a pretty big uh, build plate so let's say the build plate was too small and I couldn't fit this this thing in right so this is what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna tell you guys to go ahead and download this it's a free uh, free program called mesh mixer okay you click on this and now I'm gonna show you guys something let it uh, load <coughs> takes a while because uh, I'm actually rendering uh, some more episodes for the channel uh, give me one second here Okay, so this is how it looks in Mesh Mixer, okay? So you get, it kind of looks like uh, working with Alias uh, uh, on Maya because it's by Autodesk as well. So if you guys are you know, familiar with that, you guys will know exactly what to do. Now, there's some things that you can do. For example, if let's say you go into... Oh, where's that? Uh, okay, so first I'm going to show you... Where's that thing? Okay, so actually, you know what? Let me show you first, guys, how to do if you wanted to, let's say, hollow it out. Okay, so let's say I don't want this to be there. What I would do is do it like this. You see, you do whatever you got to do. And then afterwards, you go into edit and you do, let's say, where's that thing? Uh, discard. Okay, it cuts a hole in here. Now, if you were to turn it around, it kind of sucks that you can't see through it. I mean, even when you do the, uh, uh, where's that? Uh, to show uh, as wireframe, you can't really see through it. But let's say... Uh, I'm doing that again, okay? Let's say, uh, where's that? Okay. So I'm going like this. Now you go into here, you discard, and now you got a hole. You see that? So that's how easy it is. And then you, of course, save it as STL. But now I'm going to show you guys now also how to do a split. The splitsies. Hold on, let me see if I can. All right, here we go. Okay, so now let's say I want to split this model because it's way too fucking damn big. What do we do? Okay, so we go to edit. Right over here, you're going to see it says plain cut, okay? So first off, I want to go like put it right in the middle. I want to center it as much as possible. Then you hold the left mouse button and you just go right down. You just drag your mouse down to wherever you want to, you know, measure it. I'm not really exactly centered, but let's just say this is it, okay? Now you see it says discard uh, uh, half, right? Right over here, discard half. So you have to hit the accept button right here. So what you do is you hit the accept button and now you have half a model, which now could fit in your thing. Now, of course, you're gonna have to go over here. You're gonna have to go to export and I'm gonna show you guys now this, okay? So we're gonna export and we're gonna hit, uh, what are we on right here? I just wanna make sure I got the right folder. Okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna call this Noob Cybot uh, A, for example, okay? And I'm going to also do another complicated model for you so you guys could see what I'm talking about. So let's say, oops, sorry. Okay, so that's A, okay? So I'm saving that. But now, what about the other model? What do we do? Okay, very simple. You go into here, you do undo, and now you hit, you see this uh, kind of like this transparent arrow? You just hit this, and now it goes to this side. And then you do this, and now you go back to here, and you, where is that, uh, ah, right here, uh, you export, and you do it as Noob Cybot, where is that, uh, B. Now I'm going to show you guys how that looks like. Okay, so we save it to there. Now there's no more need for this, we can just shut this off. And we're good to go. We go into here. I love using uh, Simplify 3D, but now we're going to click on this baby right here. Um, let it load do its magic There you go Great, so now we got half a mask guys. Do you see half a mask? 
and now we can we can render it. Also, if you want to cut down on times, uh, let's say uh, you know you're are, you know you're worried about your electric bill or leaving it on when you're not home, you could you could cut down on times just by simply doing this. And then, you know, it, everything works perfectly, and then you just attach it with some Gorilla Glue and some putty afterwards, uh, some Bondo to uh, cover up the seams, and you're good to go. Uh, and that's about it. And you see, like, that's point A, this is going to be B, and you got yourself the best of uh, all worlds. Now, we're going to go into a more complicated thing. I just want this to load here, just so you guys see that I'm not uh, joking. So here we go. Here's the two pieces. Of course, you could separate them however the heck you want, but that's uh, that right here. Okay, so now... I'm going to close out of this right now. I'm going to erase these because we don't need them right now. Now, we're going to go into this. Now, I have a pretty big damn, uh, you know, build build volume plate, a build plate. But you're going to see that even though I have a big one, it cannot cover something like this. Okay, so out of the largest... Uh, oh, God, it's going slow. I'm sorry, guys, because of the... Ooh. There you go. Don't worry, I will edit it. <laughs> You got to be kidding me. Ooh. Okay, oh. You know what? Freaking crazy. Sorry, guys. Uh, so I have a lot of things uh, doing, you know, what I'm doing right now. So uh, let's just look at the chest plate right now. I want to show you guys how it is. So as you can see, it's way too big for my, uh, for my, even my build, uh, my build plate. This thing is a big one. Okay, even if I move it, I mean, I'm going to show you there's no... Trust me, I tried everything. You can't position it. It just makes it. And this is like an entire uh, chest plate for Iron Man. So now, what the heck am I going to do? So very simple. I go into here. Now, this is to make about four cuts, right? So it's the same kind of, uh, same kind of thing right here. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. Except here, we have to take a little bit more steps. Now, you could cut it as many times as you want. And I'm going to show you right now uh, what I'm talking about. Since you guys did make a request of something really big that you couldn't do, so this to me is, is considered a very big thing, and it has the same, you could use the same kind of principle on this as well. I do apologize for the slowness of this, but this is pretty much it. So right now, this is the first thing I want to do, is I want to cut it into four, right? So obviously I can't do it just like that, so I go into plain cut. Oh, let me just see, oh no, that's, uh, let me see here, make pattern separate shells no see so I got to go into here I wish they had a four-way cut but whatever I hold it for, with the left mouse button right I, I pull down the mouse I get a perfect cut oh hold on now if you don't like it you just go up here and you just do it again uh, let me just there you go I'm gonna do it like that okay so now let's just say for argument's sake we do this Okay, and I want to cut it up into uh, four pieces, right? Uh, so now we're going to go into export. Uh, we're going to do into chest, uh, where is it? 01. Okay, we're going to just work with this half a model because, I mean, it's the same principle. It's exactly the same thing as I showed you before. So now you save first, okay? Now that you saved it, shut this off, okay? You could also pull it in and not have to shut it off, but whatever. Now you have half a plate, right? But still, it doesn't fit. I'm going to show you. Doesn't fit on my uh, simplified. Uh, uh, sorry, on simplified 3D. It, it shows that it doesn't. Well, this one does fit on my uh, on my build plate. But let's say it didn't, and I need to cut it one more time, right? So I go into here again on the new model that I saved. <clears throat> I go back into Mesh Mixer and open this model now, the new one. It's exactly the same concept, but I just want to show you guys. Because you guys were asking me about that, that you wanted to cut it into four pieces. Or, 
or into six pieces or so on and so forth. So it's very simple. And I see usually on like these sites like Thingiverse and other places and people asking if you, you know, they ask these guys that, uh, that take their time to make models, they ask them, guys, can you cut it up into small pieces? And I know that, uh, you know, when they say that, I know automatically they don't know how to do it. So this is why I want to do this for you guys so you guys know how to do it. And you don't have to wait like years till somebody responds to you on these sites. So right now I have half. Now I want to cut it again. So I just do this. That's it. Okay, you accept. You know, you, you export. Then you hit undo, you, you know, to each one. Then you do this. You export. And now you'll see. I'm, I'm just going to show you how it does... And you could just do it to as many pieces as you want. Uh, let's do this. <laughs> All right, here we go. So now I'm taking this out. So here we go. Don't save, of course. <laughs> uh, and now we're going to open this. And now you're going to see it. So now you'll see. This is the model that I had before, right? Now I cut it into four pieces, you see? So now I have, well, I wouldn't cut it like this because I would never leave it like that, uh, you know, with a tiny bit. But, you know, you have to be strategic. Like, first off, when you make a cut, you should know, uh, even though I didn't do, a, you know, this, I didn't do a good job in that because I was just trying to show you something. But always stay away from the details. So if, let's say this is the details right here. I would try to cut it in a place that there is no high details in the plastics, for example. So let's say if I were to do that, uh, you know, with this, there's no, you know, saving it. <laughs> but let me just uh, go into uh, the actual chest plate and show you exactly where I would cut. <clears throat> Here we go. All right, so let me take this out. Okay. So the places where I would cut and is the places without detail. So you don't want to cut where there's holes or where there's this kind of freaking awesome detail. So you always want to go. That's why I went in the beginning through the middle you see right here then afterwards when you have a half of that if you can somehow you see this one has a lot of detail so it's a little bit problematic so I guess you're gonna have to uh, just deal with it because there's like there's detail all over this baby but you don't want to get these uh, you know separated like you know use like common sense in this you don't want the latches separated or anything like that what I would probably do in a thing like this I would possibly, even though I hate doing this because I hate, I would go around uh, the detail. But you see, like before, I was left with this little thing right here. I would want to cut from here. You see, so right over here would be the half. Because I wouldn't want to be left with something stringy or whatever on this edge. So always try to make, uh, make sure you stay away from the detail. So that's why originally I went from here, even though there's detail here, you can't really see it. It's from here to here. It's a piece of cake. Or let's say you're doing a face mask. You don't want to cut half of the eyeball. You want to cut down the middle from the nose and then under the eyes if you can, if you want to make a cross cut. You understand? So you don't want to divide uh, the places where you want uh, details in. Now, if you guys see, this one right here has a little imperfections that I could hollow out using the first strategy I showed you guys how to do on the Noob Saibot mask, okay? So that's basically how you do it. Guys, let me know what you think. Uh, I just had to come out with this because a lot of you guys asked me about it, but also I've gotten so many uh, uh, requests for it, but also I, I've gotten so many um, uh, visions of it because I, everywhere I look in the uh, forums, all I see is people complaining about how they don't know how to separate the mesh, which is fine because I can't see it anywhere on YouTube at all. So I figure I show it to you guys right here. Maybe I'm not looking right, or but then again, everybody's not finding it, so it's not just me. Uh, but, you know, that's what basically happens. I look at it, and I see people also on Thingiverse and other places where they get models. They're all complaining about how if, if a person uh, could cut it up to more pieces, and they wait for years on end, some of them respond, some of them don't. So, guys, you can do it yourself. Really easy. Mesh Mixer is a free program. You can download that, no problems, and that's it. You're good to go. And that's all I have to say about that. Have a good one, y'all. Uh, take care. Definitely subscribe as there will be much, many, many videos as I do videos for everything. Uh, honest reviews and everything. And uh, definitely like and hit that bell button. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.